hey everyone this is just a tick and welcome back to the channel so before we start i would like to discuss about a tool that is the tenoshe for you key this tool can solve the various kind of io screen lock issues like screen time passcode or disable or unlock passcode screen or mdm lock screen issues and if you want to know more about it just check out the description link so for example i got this device on the mdm screen so i will just connect it and click on start bypass now you can see it's done. So if you want more information about this tool, just head over to the website or check out the description link. And now let's continue today's video process. So hey everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I will show you how you can jailbreak the iOS 15.7.8 and iOS 16.6 .6 using your Mac system. Yes, today's video is for Mac users. So if you are a Windows user, I've already made so many videos on how you can jailbreak it on your Windows system so you can watch that so first you need to download these two files one is the Pelerin Mac OS version x86 and 64 bit and another one is the Mac universal version the difference between is that if you have a older system with the Intel T2 chip and the other Mac OS model you can try 86 bit and 64 bit architecture otherwise if you have a latest M1 and the other chipset you can try the Mac OS universal version so these are the difference you can try it according to your model and to download these files it's very simple you can go to my blog or check out the description link you will get on this blog and you can easily download all this file for free from here also if you want to join my telegram group or channel or other social media handle for quick and fast update you can join there from that link and now let's proceed for the jailbreak first you need to open your terminal on your mac next i have a iphone x that is running on the latest ios 16.6 so for 11 devices specifically, you don't have to turn on the passcode or touch ID before or after the jailbreak. Otherwise, you need to restore your device again to on it and then re jailbreak it again. So for A11 device like 8, 8 plus and iPhone X, don't set the passcode before or after the jailbreak. For other devices, you can set. Next, you need to drag and drop the write file according to your Mac model and hit on enter. After that, you can connect your device. And you can see that your device will automatically go into the recovery mode. Now next from here you will see on the terminal it will ask you to press enter and ready for the DFU mode. So hit on enter and press the DFU button combination. You will also get the help if you don't know how to put into the DFU mode. Just repeat the things written on the terminal and you can enter in the DFU mode. After that you will see the verbose boot will start and it will start jailbreaking your device. So just wait for it to get complete. Once the terminal will exit and your device is on, you can disconnect the cable. After that you will see the Pelerin loader on your home screen. If it's not there, you can just turn on your Wi-Fi and after that you will see the Pelerin loader. Otherwise just re jailbreak it. And in some devices like specifically A11 devices, sometime you need to clean restore your device and after that you can succeed in the jailbreak. So you can follow all this step and after that you can install the Celio or Zebra. So I've already shown you how you can install it in my older video so you can watch that. So now let's continue with another device so this device is iphone 6s it's running on the latest ios 15.7.8 for this device so now let's start jailbreaking with the same the process is similar for ios 15 also but there is a catch for iphone 6s iphone se first generation and 6s plus is that when you enter in the jailbreak stage and the device will show the verbose boot it will stuck on the pongo os booting so for that you need to follow the simple trick let me just show you how you can do that so first just enter in the dfu mode if it's fail you can just retry it and it will work Now at this point you will see it will jailbreak your device normally but on the iPhone it will stuck on the Pongo OS boot so for that you need to quit the terminal by the command and C. After that you need to rerun the file again or drag and drop on the terminal and hit on enter. 
and after that you will see the verbose boot and the pongo is completely load on the device and it will reboot itself and then the jailbreak will be completed this trick is only for those who will stuck on the pong os especially on the iphone 6s se first generation and 6s plus so now you can see the Peloton loader is here so we have successfully jailbroken our iphone 6s on the latest ios 15.7.8 also the iphone x that is running on the 16.6 .6. i've already installed the celio so everything working fine you can also try it you can install the celio package manager or you can use the zebra both are perfectly working on these devices and for Cydia, I will just find out some other ways. There is a way you can install Cydia also, but with the older Pelerin version. So if you want the Cydia on iOS 15 and 16 latest version, write it down in the comments so I will research and make the proper dedicated video for you guys. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys are enjoying my content on the daily basis. So please support my channel, hit the like button and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool updates. I will see you in another one. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.